What's up, all you beautiful engineers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is MJ. Uh, so in the last video, I showed you guys how to get Windows 11 installed on VMware Workstation. And today I want to show you how to take your Windows 11 VM from being a big fat chungus and bring it down to being well, as skinny as possible and also giving you a bit more privacy when running it. So we are here at the uh, initial setup screen of Windows 11 and we're going to go ahead and do this. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do in here is to disconnect the network card. So Windows 11 forces you, if it's on the network, if it's on the internet, to use a Microsoft account to access this. So we're going to go in here and right click and go into settings, go to the network adapter and disconnect the network so that we can set up a local account on this Windows instance. Uh, so then we will just run through the update. So I'm gonna choose my location. US, yes, don't want to add a second keyboard. Not connected, so now you click this, I don't have internet. And that's gonna go ahead and let you continue with limited setup. Limited setup, ha. Ah. I'll show you. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this up. Super secret password. And first pet's name was MJ. Guys, don't copy my answers, please. Childhood name, MJ. You'd never figured that out. And my oldest cousin, also named MJ. Odd. Uh, next thing you're gonna wanna do is choose your privacy settings. Here's the easy answer for this. Turn all of this crap off. Every single thing you see here, turn it all off. We don't want them watching us. We don't want them finding our device. We don't want to send back any advertising IDs. We don't want any of this stuff. So make sure that's turned off. Go ahead and do that. So, while this is coming online, I want to show you something. We are going to use this tool on GitHub uh, by T. Atza uh, called Windows 11 Debloat. Um, if you go to this link, uh, make sure you're on the main branch. And under the main branch, you're going to see these scripts. We're going to clone this repo. Um, we're actually just going to copy down the zip file and then we're going to run some stuff in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Links in the description if you want to download this yourself. Note, uh, use this at your own risk. It even says that in here. Uh, <laughs> you're doing this at your own risk, not responsible for any data loss. Uh, make sure you back up all your important files. Um, but I'm doing this in a VM. I don't actually care what's on here. I just want this to be lightweight as possible. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and let Windows finish coming online. I'm not going to turn off my PC. Do not worry. All right, so that install is done. We can now access our system. First thing we're going to do before we debloat this thing is to actually install the VMware tools so that this thing actually functions properly. Let me shrink my big dumb head real quick here. Oh, I can't do it. All right, you're stuck with my big dumb head here in the corner for now. We're going to run this setup.64 and we'll say yes install these tools you're going to see the screen adjust and it's going to install all the drivers and everything so that the screen looks good so that the network works properly we can just choose the typical install click install here it should be almost instant when it starts installing these drivers boom look at that already better sweet all right so now we're done with that We'll go ahead and reboot it, should be quick. And then once it comes back online, we'll log in and we will deep load. So one reason for running Windows 11 or Windows 10 or any Windows really in a virtual machine is for labs. I do a lot of lab work um, for cybersecurity, I do a bunch of testing for a lot of things that I'm building and I just don't need it chewing up resources on my machine. So. You wanna make this as streamlined as possible and they include a ton of bloat in here. It's ridiculous. You'll see. Oh, forgot my password. There we go. All right, so now we are all logged into Windows and we will open up Microsoft Edge. Uh, and for some reason, it always, every time, every time I bring it up in a VM, it always hangs like this. So I actually have to go and kill it first sometimes using task manager, oddly. But when I reopen it, it works fine. I don't know. So we will take the link and paste it in there. Oh. <laughs> Step one, actually go back and attach your network card. Duh. 
Now we can get there. All right, so now we're here. Um, once you're in the GitHub repo, you can click on code and choose download zip. It's gonna download it to your default location. We'd say open file. And now we're here at Windows 11 deep load. So under downloads, we're gonna actually unzip this. Say extract all, extract that. And it's gonna open up that folder for you. Now inside this folder, the file you care about is this Win 11 deep load. So you're actually gonna right click on that and say run with PowerShell. And it will bring up UAC, say, yep, I'm sure I wanna do this. Gonna create a restore point. So if you mess something up, hopefully you can roll back, no promises, but we'll see. So then it pops up this awesome menu and you can do all of the cool things in here. And we'll actually watch this window in the background as it does it. So there's a few different sections uh, and we will work through each of them. So there's the essential tweaks, which is gonna go and basically um, tweak well, all the recommended stuff. It's gonna disable all of these things. It's gonna remove a bunch of tasks from running in the background. It's basically gonna just optimize the heck out of this thing. Tweaks are done. Next, we're going to choose the old context menu. So for reference, if you right click, this is what the new context menu looks like. I don't mind it, but it's, you know, I've used it the same way for years and years and years between XP and 10, uh, and Windows 7, and all those, it's, it's looked the same. So um, I want to go back to the old context menu. So it's actually gonna close that out and bring that up back up. And now when I go in here, ah, that's nice and comfortable, isn't it? Miss that, all right. So now we come back in here and keep rolling with it. We're gonna disable background apps, which is just gonna make things run a little bit quicker, right? There's there's less critical background apps running. We're gonna disable Cortana, because I don't use it. So I disabled that. Dark mode. I personally live in dark mode all the time. It's up to you if you wanna turn on dark mode or not. Um, Basic visual effects. So basically that moves all the swoopy, fancy stuff from this. Uh, it just makes it nicer. Um, makes it a little bit quicker. Basically optimizes for speed. Uh, we don't want to disable Windows Update. I don't care about that. I uh, don't want to use the small taskbar. You can if you want to. Um, I don't know what the take ownership thing does, so I don't do that. But I do want to remove OneDrive. I do not use OneDrive. I use Google Drive. Uh, I know. But I'm working on a series where I de-Google my life. So stick around for, on the channel if you want to see that. Should be fun. OneDrive takes just a minute to uninstall. Disable OneDrive, gone. Uh, uninstall bloatware. Bing news, Bing weather. Get help. <laughs> so much bloat. Uh, solitaire collection. Oh no, not solitaire. People, to-dos. Yeah, get rid of all that stuff. Um, man, there's a lot. Zune music? Zune still a thing? That's a little bit shocking to me. I've never noticed that before. Bloatware is removed. So now, again, this is all about trimming Windows 11 down. Uh, and now we will leave Windows Defender dis enabled. I don't mind Windows Defender. I think it does a pretty good job. Um, but what I do want to do is install Google Chrome. And I like that they put that button in here because I think they know that Edge is... Not great. Even though it's Chromium based now, uh, it's just not awesome. So I much prefer Chrome and or Firefox and Brave. Um, I try to use Firefox more, but I don't know. Just depends on what you're doing, I guess. So now we've closed out of that guy and now we have Chrome. So basically now you're at a place where this OS is much more streamlined. It's gonna take up a lot less resources on this system for you. And overall, it's just gonna be good. So now that we're done, we can close this guy out and you'll notice that it's just a cleaner experience. There's a lot less junk in here. There's still some junk, as you can see, TikTok, TikTok is still here. That's weird. I thought it would have removed that, but maybe, maybe, maybe it doesn't want to go through and do that. But anyway, um, hopefully you found this useful. Uh, go and again, use that repo at your own discretion. Um, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You can follow me, MJ Tech Guy, pretty much everywhere. Links in the description and uh, also, be on the lookout for a GitHub repo of these videos. So in case if YouTube decides that I am not worthy uh, and they wanna take my channel down, all my videos are still somewhere. Uh, I'll be creating a video about where I keep all my backup files 
uh, for the masses as well. Anyways, appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you next time. See you.